says in one and two, use a protractor to measure the angle. So I'm going to take my trusty protractor here. I'm going to line it up on my angle right there. I'm going to make sure my vertices is right on my line right there and my zero lines lined up. And if you look right here, it looks like it's directly in between the 30 and the 40. So I'm going to start from my smaller number and go up and it's like it's direct, it looks like it's directly in between there. So I'm going to say that one is 35 degrees. 35 degrees. Okay, now over here on my obtuse angle. And something else I want to bring up is I'm using my smaller measure. It's also falling in between 140 and 150, but I can see that it's an acute angle. So I'm not going to be using my larger numbers. I'm going to be using my smaller numbers. Now over here on this one, I'm going to line this one up directly with my vertice right there. And it looks like it is intersecting right here on this line right across 160 and 20. I can see that's an obtuse angle. So that uh, angle right there is going to be 160 degrees. 160 degrees. Okay, in three and four, use a protractor to draw each angle. So the first thing I'm going to start off doing is I'm going to, on, uh, for 110, is I'm going to draw my ray. And I'm going to draw it right there. It's going to be my vertice. I'm going to put this on here. And 110 degrees. Okay, I can see my 110 degrees is coming across right here, right across to the 70. I'm going to put me a line right here. I'm going to line up my retractor with the two dots right there. And I'll draw my line up. Okay, that's going to be my 110 degree angle. Okay, next one, number four, I'm going to draw me a ray. Put a dot right there. Put my protractor right on my dot and line it up with my zero line. And I'm looking for 50 degrees. That's right here. Put a dot up here. Line up my protractor. Draw my line up. That's going to be my 50 degree angle. Okay, question number five. It says, what is the angle measure of a straight angle? And a straight angle, we know, is 180 degrees. Okay. What are the vertex and rays of a, B, uh, angle A, B, C? Explain your answer. Okay, the rays is going to be ray B, A, and ray B, C. And the vertex is vertex B. Okay, and a vertex is also is um, the array of an angle meets at the vertex. So um, right there, uh, where the uh, two uh, rays meet, is the vertex. Okay, instructions for the independent practice. In 7 through 14, measure each angle. Tell if each angle is acute, right, or obtuse. Okay, so we're going to measure them and we're going to tell uh, what the, uh, whether they're, they're acute, right, or obtuse angles. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at, we're going to do the, the even ones together and you're going to do the odd ones on your own. So on question number eight right there, I can see that's an acute angle. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and measure it. See what the measurement of my acute angle is. I'm going to line it up right there. And I can see that intersects right at the 10 degree mark. It's not 170 because it's not a obtuse angle. It's an acute angle. And it is 10 degrees. Problem number 10. Okay, I can see that's an obtuse angle. It's an obtuse angle. And I'm going to go ahead and measure it. Okay. And uh, on uh, number 10 right there, 
it looks like it's falling right between the 140 and 150 mark there. And since it's obtuse angle, I know it's not uh, in between the 30 and 40, it's in between the 40 and 50. And since it's directly in between the 40 and 50, uh, that's going to be 40, 145 degrees. 100, 145 degrees. Let's look at number 12. Okay, on number 12, I can see that's an acute angle. It's an acute angle, and we'll go and measure. It looks like about a 45 degree angle. Pretty close to it, somewhere around there. Okay, I line it up there. And actually, it falls right on our 40 degree mark. It's not 140 because it's the acute angle. It's actually 40 degrees. Okay, problem number 14. I can see that's an acute angle. Acute angle. I can see it's less than 45 degrees. It's less than a, a half of a right angle. Looks like it's falling directly on a 20 degrees. 20 degrees. Okay. In 15 through 18, draw an angle for each measure. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, I'm going to go skip on to 16 there. I'm going to draw 180 degrees, and that's a pretty easy one. That's a straight angle. So I can just go and draw a straight line right there. That's going to be my 180 degree angle. Okay. And Question number 18. 18 is going to be 65 degree angle. So I'm going to draw my ray first. Okay, and then I'm going to put my protractor down. I'm going to look for 65 degrees. 65 degrees is going to be directly between 60 and 70. So I'm going to follow on up. Put me a dot right there. I'll line my protractor up with that dot. I don't have to take it all the way up there. It's going to be my 65 degree angle right there. Let's look at the back side. Okay, on question number 19. It says, measure all the angles created by the intersection, intersection of Main Street and Pleasant Street. Explain how you measured. Question number 20. Okay, uh, George is reading a book containing three chapters. The first chapter is 20 pages long. The second chapter is 36 pages long. There are 83 pages in the book. How many pages are in the third chapter? So, um, and they have a uh, little strip diagram here for me, and I can see by looking at it. Obviously, I'm going to go ahead and box in my question, okay? And uh, by looking at it, there's three total chapters. The first chapter has 20 pages. The next chapter has 36 pages. The entire book has 83 pages. And that's what's signified by the strip diagram right here. So I can see if I add 20 plus 36 and subtract it from 83, that's going to tell me what goes right there. So that's 36 plus 20 plus 20. So that's six. That's 56 pages right there. So if I subtract 56 from 83, that'll tell me how many pages go right here. So I cannot take six from three, so I got to regroup. That's going to become seven, and that'll be 13. And six from uh, six from 13 is seven, and five from seven is two. So there's going to be 27 pages in the third chapter. That would be 27 right there. Okay, problem number 21. Okay, if angle ABC is an obtuse angle, which of the following could not be its measure? A, 140 degrees, B, 95 degrees, C, 105 degrees, or D, 90 degrees? Question 22. Maya designed two intersecting roads. She drew the roads so that one of the angles at the intersection was 45 degrees. What are the other three angles measured formed by the uh, 
what are the three other angles measures formed by the intersection? Okay, so uh, uh, that's going to look very similar to our road up top there, but um, if I was to go ahead and do that, okay, whenever you have uh, an intersection, okay, if you add up all four of those angles right there, it's going to equal 360 degrees because from here to here is 180 degrees. Okay, these two angles are going to equal 180 degrees and these two angles should equal 180 degrees. So there's, there's a lot of different ways to do this problem, but uh, the easiest way is to say, okay, if that angle is 45 degrees right there, uh, this opposite angle over here is going to be 45 degrees also. Okay, that's one thing we know. But also, uh, if I want to, what this is called is a, will be a supplementary angle. Both of these angles should equal 180 degrees. So to find these other two angles, all I need to do is subtract 45 from 180. So 5 from 0, I have to regroup. That becomes a 7. And let's go ahead and pause the video right there.